just after a storm and the water was rough. So I go out and, and caught a wave, trying to ride it in all the way to the shore. And uh, I decided to do a flip turn in order to go back out and catch another one. The flip turn is a maneuver to escape the forward motion of a wave. The body surfer leans forward, digging his head and torso down into the water in a tumble roll, allowing the wave to pass overhead. As I was in the tum tumble with my head down, another wave broke on top of my back and threw me into the sand. I didn't see anything, but I heard this big commotion. And they said, someone's hurt, someone's hurt. He um, was face down in the water, and I'm, I was yelling at him. I'm like, Jimmy, get up, come on, stop playing around. At that point, I couldn't get up or turn my head or anything, and I was about to drown. Finally, she picked me up. And when she picked me up, she later told me that I gasped for air. I was sort of like blue in the face. And as soon as she tur turned me over, I told her, I said, Debbie, I broke my back, get some help. The water in a Bronx pool had given a couple of ghetto kids the means to swim out of poverty. Now, at age 25, water again shaped Jim's future, but this time with a tragic twist. With one crash of a wave, Jim's world was swept away. I panicked a little because I, you know, I had never saw my brother in such a helpless state before, like that. The quintessential doer was now totally dependent on others. I got in the ambulance and we got to the hospital and it was an unbelievable scene. People were with knife wounds and sitting in the hallway bleeding and and they roll us into a room and we had to cut off his bathing suit and you know, his holes down, he had sand on him. They weren't gonna move him, they just had to leave him still. The San Juan Hospital was far below the standards of most facilities on the U.S. mainland. And because it was New Year's Eve, the emergency room was grossly understaffed. There was only one resident doctor on call that night. Marcelino had to double as a hospital aide, wheeling Jim's gurney around the facility. And there was nothing you could do, no matter how much you yelled, no matter how much you carried on, they weren't going to pay attention to it, because they've heard that before. And we were not accustomed to, to dealing with uh, a situation like that in a hospital. It is now universally accepted that prompt and effective treatment following a spinal cord injury to reduce swelling can greatly diminish the degree of permanent damage. Incredibly, Jim languished in the emergency room most of the night before a radiologist even read his x-rays. Whether quicker and better care would have helped Jim's particular case is a matter of conjecture. <laughs>